Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army 2 run where we are beating the game with only two soldiers per mission. It's time for a non-timed mission. This time against uh, the all too powerful alien queen, uh, the Queen of Berserks. And uh, we're going to attempt that uh, feat uh, with Dragonover, who finally came back without negative traits, and Edgar Alien Poe, who's still trying to get his promotion. Last time he got knocked unconscious by a stun lancer, but luckily his friend Renman cleared the entire mission without him afterwards. It was pretty much a nail biter. Now he's back and he wants to battle once again. The Queen, to my understanding, uh, still has the problem, at least with normal grenades, that she's going to buck uh, as soon as you're hitting uh, the Queen with uh, poison. That's why we're bringing um, uh, Dragonova along, so she can hopefully hit her a couple of times. I also uh, installed the expanded magazine on Dragonova just for that extra nice little DPS. We can now use Banish and probably hit the enemy like three to four times with Banish, which is helpful. She deals a lot of damage with the extra ammunition. Oh, and look at that! Our continent bonus just paid dividends. Mr. Elite Trooper joined us. So, we got an extra grenade and an extra gun. That is very helpful. Dragonova moves up and takes a look. As always, we really don't have any time pressure here. Moving to designated position. Might as well take it slow. We can hear that there is a sector port somewhere. To be honest, I haven't really checked the constellation. I saw a lot of Advents, a sector port, heavy mech, and an Andromedon. Yeah. Okay, we could theoretically grab over here. Good enough for me. Okay, it's going to be a bit more careful here. From this point onward, Dragonova is the only one moving further. Ooh. Not what I would have expected. Not what I would have expected, but certainly also not a bad choice. I will reposition. Patrol is upwind. Menace 1 5, you're near the target position. Overwatch. Well, we certainly don't want to 
pull another patrol. We probably need to deal with those guys here first. another pack there so let's do the obvious and start with the ones closest to us we are not in a hurry so I might as well just move over here Good. Before we are starting anything, let's position ourselves in the most optimal way. Perfect. That way we're definitely not going to be spotted out. just a tiny bit and I think we're going to start the encounter by hitting both of them with a grenade all right here we go nice little hit And another nice little hit. Perfect. Just perfect. We can finish this guy without even breaking concealment. No one will want Acquiring some blood trail in the way. Increase, further increasing our critical hit chance. It's probably going to take a shot. Which triggers another shot from our side. Unfortunately just missing. I guess the pack down here might trigger as well. It doesn't. Interesting. Here, trigger, okay. I mean, yeah, why not? They wouldn't even know that we're close. into cover I am at your service oh, okay too bad I was hoping we could trigger uh, we could 
kill the guy downstairs here. We can't. Alright, Overwatch. Both of them have a single movement action, which should not be enough to do anything meaningful. of lightning hands. Yeah, we don't want to trigger the other pack. In fact, we don't want to trigger anyone, to be honest. No, 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 not reloading. We are going to take another shot here. Yeah, he's almost down. Good. And to optimize our actions, we're going to reload first, and then we're going to kill him. Another blood trail, so she's already at plus 10% uh, critical hit chance. Reload Overwatch. Two picks down. Reloaded. Overwatch, Overwatch. I can get there. And we're switching the sides just a little bit. eventually will come. There we go. And trigger. Nice little hit. Good. Let's start by making sure the Codex will definitely not do anything. We are at 100% hit chance. So might as well continue giving over actions. This here will shred him and almost put him into the, uh, onto death door. He is now at 7, which is enough to kill him. Oh wait, it's not a 100% chance to kill him. Oh, 
unfortunate. The high ground and the and uh, the defense was too much. All right, let's take this thing. Yeah, I was figuring we might end up short. I didn't want to take any chances here. Oh, wow. Luckily, the elite trooper had 12 hit points. Let's get our blood trail. Here's the third charge. Alright. Andromedon is going down. Time for reload. And we're looking at a superior laser sight. Not bad. We can wait a couple of rounds, uh, mainly because I want to get the cooldowns back. I think over here was a pretty decent position. I want to get the cooldowns back, uh, specifically a lightning hands. Volk says I am to obey. <sighs> Archon King is still standing there, like a boss. going to overwatch I am just going to end the round no let me get on top of the building Just out of curiosity, kill zone. Not the worst idea, but we first need to deal with the Archon. I don't want to fight an Archon and, and uh, the Archon King, not an Archon, the Archon King and a massive um, sector port at the same time. I'm thinking this here could be a decent position, but we really don't want... I really don't want to be flanked by those guys.
the shrapnels. Oh, that's going to work out well. But once it explodes, we need we, we will probably need to have a good follow-up because then the Archon King is triggered and we need to deal with it. Um, I like the idea of shredding it for two or three and effectively dealing damage. I'm not sure how fast it will react and come into our direction. Hmm. Let's move to here. Okay. I guess it's time to to start. Don't want to kill zone those guys. But at the same time, they are so far away, so it really actually doesn't matter. Good. Kill zone. Placing explosive. Okay, let's see. We shredded it and dealt uh, minimum damage. We need to deal at least 40 for zero damage. The ruler is still far, far away. I would want to keep the grapple just in case we need it later. down to a hundred hit points. Hair trigger helps us, certainly. Order is down to 90 hit points. We're looking at an overwatch here. It's no actual action. And we know that he's going to leave at eight or starts to leave at eighty hit points. I'm on the move. So I'm wondering if we were to now banish on him. That would probably deal a lot of damage. Plus the blood trail. I don't know why we're at zero crit. I, I really don't get that. But we're that'll be 
one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, five shots. Let's go. It's one. Two. Three, four, five. We're being visible. I don't know if the ruler even decides to do something. Seems somewhat paralyzed from the uh, from the uh, whole poison. Doesn't really react. We have to stop that thing. Now he summons the gate. Can we get somewhat closer? No, we can't. Which means no free lightning hands action. We're just going to take a single shot, I suppose. Come on, buddy. Okay, we were looking at... 54 minus 7 minus 8, uh, so 39 hit points, no armor, which I think is a pretty decent uh, first round against him. It means if we're not blindly stumbling into him again, we might be able to kill him the next time. Reconcealing. I will reposition. Affirmative, covering now. All right. Sector Port and Elite Trooper can be seen. So, might as well do the kill zone. That's a remote start there, by the way. Don't need it. What we need is a nice explosion here. To start things off. Everyone falls down. Let's take a look what happened to them. Well, they must be somewhere. Overwatching.
your service. They fell right into the earth, which is interesting. Well, Dragonova keeps accumulating the kills. Overwatch and... Move into half cover, plus overwatch. Nice, good job. This here would be close enough, and I think we can kill the sector port uh, from right here. Yeah, pretty sure we can. Alright, trooper overwatches. I think there is only one purifier left and that's pretty much it. You know what? Let's kill him professionally with a sniper. There we go. Pretty happy how that turned out. Menace one five, status confirmed. X four charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Got it covered. And some bonus kills. All right, let's see. We're going to evac next round anyways, but... <coughs> it's still good uh, to have a chance for some extra kills. We wanted to level both uh, Dragonova and Edgar Alien anyways. Look at you. More 
cheek to the slaughter. Menace 1 5, be advised. We've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Well, too bad. That didn't play out just as we thought it would. little pistol shot oh wait what we can't even get there hmm. too bad which means we definitely need to stay here for one more turn too bad I do have an idea though how we could still do it This here is going to be a kill for sure. And that's another kill. Tell your gods I'm coming. Reload. Pretty sure we will not be able to kill another pack. Yeah, specifically since there's a, a priest in there, I don't want to take any chances with stasis and mind control. Four charges are armed. Get to the evac point. We don't have any time to spare. Well, guess what? He's going to sacrifice himself. That's a critical hit, by the way. Unfortunately, can't get any closer. Moving to position. I wish we could do a nice little uh, face off. Let's move out of here. Only thing that's left is the good old the dual strike. And out of principle, I'd like to kill the priest. He falls into stasis. And we're getting the F out of here. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, look at that, Overwatch. Yeah, well, no problem. ammunition take your overwatch shots and be done with it oh I for oh my <laughs> I forgot that he had the loot well, that that's my bad ah 
I forgot he had the loot. Mm. The few extra kills were certainly not worth losing. I don't know what it was. Probably an Elarium core and I think it was a laser, um, laser pointer. So laser side. Nice, look at that. Edgar Alien Pope. Finally! Fanfire, yes, please. Such a good ability. Serial is also really good. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens. Ooh, so good. Project and give us time to further establish. The so Edgar Allan Poe. I mean, I don't want to waste any XCOM abilities. I like Serial. It's 15 points, but we need to focus on two characters. We need to focus on two characters. Yeah, pretty good. I like where this is going. Let's go grab some loot. We do not have any further facilities now reach, which makes it a bit problematic. Um, before we go for loot, I think going here for 40 intel wouldn't be the worst idea. Or going here for 80 intel, also not bad. Better resolve. Lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. Hmm. Pursue of knowledge. Not really needed. I know though, once we're expanding further, we're definitely get, uh, going to see the third um, the third chosen, and I would say we're holding off on it until we killed the um, until we killed the um, warlock, because that would just Are mean even more um, Avenger de defense missions. I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the advent. Of this fearsome, a fanatical, if not wholly obsessed being the chosen warlock is without question the most loyal of the elders children okay we're looking at nine more days random the warlock has made it clear that he will make us pay for our defiance of the elders in truth I so once this is done we're continuing help renman getting better advanced scope not really what i was looking for i was hoping course. more for for some PCSs or superior items. That's nice. So we got one war suit. Experimental heavy weapon. And let's take the powered weapon. One, two, for now. With a war suit, we should be pretty much set uh, when it comes to offensive power. 
we can use it for the uh, uh, for the assault. Renman, once he's back, can use it. One of our Larian cores is gone, and the scientist is wounded. Well, it's not really a sabotage. We don't have any more time to lose. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Okay, improved shotguns. That's something that we would want. Plus one damage. Oh yes. That's exactly what we want. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. There we go. Colonel Doreen is no longer shaken. Oh wait, that was Zirkim. Doreen Robinson... No, Zirkim was already good. So Renman is no longer shaken, but still lightly wounded for two days. Okay. Gotta continue it. Okay, so Viper Rounds, very difficult neutralization of a field commander. We could do that with the uh, Zirkin and... No, with um, Edgar Allan Poe and Dragonova. Worked out pretty well the last time. Specifically the, uh, since there are lots of high explosives in here. Uh, that looks nice as well. I like the idea of this, uh, fighting against uh, the Lost once in a while again. Yeah, we don't know what the hidden event is. I'm not sure. I mean, what I like about this here is it's pretty straightforward. Neutralization of the field commander. Um, since it's very difficult and only 11, there's probably a chosen one in here. Let me think. But difficult and nine also means that there is a chosen one in here. Hmm. Problem that I'm having with protect the device is it still has so little hit points. On the other hand, whenever there is a lost swarm, it's in the middle of the city. So. I'll keep thinking about it. I don't know yet. Um, anyways, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, please uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you like the run. And uh, maybe you have a comment or two regarding things that I could do differently. Elsewise, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.